12 years old, I began playing drums. From there, I began playing jazz. And uh, so I pursued music in college on the GI Bill beginning in 1955, following which I studied composition in Paris with Nadia Boulanger, where I first heard electronic music. And I was fascinated with this idea of making music with loudspeakers. I have a long history with music industry because of the FM synthesis uh, technology. And um, beginning in 1971, when a number of organ companies, electronic music manufacturers, came to Stanford to look at the work that I had done. Yamaha was very far advanced in, in that regard and understood within a very few minutes uh, the technology and the way I had sort of used it in a sort of perverse way to, uh, to create timbre, various timbres directly using um, modulating one sinusoid with, by another sinusoid. The important thing that I want to tell you is FM was an ear discovery, and uh, it was not mathematics. I had no idea about, about frequency modulation other than that it was that other button. There was AM and on the car radio. I would like to explain a bit about uh, this misunderstanding and how, uh, while what Max or Cycling 74 has, has uh, stated about FM and the, the way it's used is not incorrect. It's misleading in that it limits one of the great possibilities of FM, including synthesis of resonances, the sort of resonances, for example, that are so important in, in speech and singing and many instruments. This is an extraordinary place. I find complementary relationship between building, facility, and the people is a very rich one.